So today let us see the same kind of concept where we can consolidate two invoices. I mean create two invoices, but merge them. So we can also do that actually. So how to do that? We'll see enough. I'm going to accounts payable. To all purchase orders, I'll just create two purchase orders and leave them as it is. Then. We'll create two invoices and then consolidate both the invoices into a single invoice. So let's see that process after completing that we'll move into another topic of prepayment today. Let's create another purchase order here. Most of them are invoiced. One of it is cancelled. Select the vendor account. And select this one, Nika products. Site and warehouse, then purchase order and click on OK. Select an item or two, I'll select one. And this item, suppose. Then buy some quantity of five, to which hundred and total of five five hundred. Then I'll confirm the purchase order. Well done. Then receive the five goods. Post a product received for the receipt of five goods. Something like triple zero seven. Okay, and you have all the goods you are receiving, so you can click on okay. So product receipt is posted and I can see the status of the order change it to received from the open order. Now goods on this order are received and not yet invoiced. So I'm not going to invoice it now. I'll invoice it later. I'm going to create one more purchase order. As you can see here, click on new. 
So select a vendor. I'll sell the same vendor, Nika products. Then this item weight loss. Then I'll click on OK. It's purchase order number eight. So it will be created. As you can see, it's created. I'll select another item here like cycle. So one one each of thousand rupees. So I'll buy two cycles from them. Two thousand total. Then I'll go to purchase and confirm the order. Then I'll go to receive. Post the product receipt. You can give something like PRN triple zero eight. So when you scroll down, you can see cycle two cycles of one of thousand each total of two thousand. You can click on OK. can see it is received. Now we have two orders which are in received state as you can see here purchase order number seven and eight. Both of them are confirmed and received. So I'm going to invoice them. And we'll see how we can perform a consolidated invoice process. So I'll go to the pending vendor invoices page here. I don't have any invoices pending as of now. I'll create one. Go to new. So select for which vendor you're going to create an invoice. The here you select the invoice account. So it's for this Nika products. Then invoice number. So I'm just giving an invoice number here as one, two, three. Let's say one, two, three. OK. And I can select the purchase order for which I want to create this invoice for. I'll select this one order number seven. So you can actually select both the orders here so that a consolidated invoice will be created. That's the process that we have seen yesterday. But here in case if you create two invoices, suppose so this this purchase order is taken and you can give an invoice date or you can leave it over. No problem. So you can see first purchase orders line is picked up here into the invoice. So now this invoice one, two, three just created and I'm not going to post it anyway. I'm just take it backwards. So now I have a pending invoice which has to be posted for purchase order number seven. I'll create one more invoice. For the purchase order number eight. So same invoice account for the same vendor, right? OK, and I'll also give the same number to this invoice. So it's mandatory that you have to give same number if you want to consolidate the invoices. So given purchase order number eight. Date is not required and you can see cycle and two cycles of 2000 here. And you can close this one as well. So now you have two invoices pending with the same number. So you have a process to consolidate both the invoices. You can select both the invoices. Then go to process, not process actually. Mm. Where did I lost it? No, no, no. Yeah. Here runs up and I click on edit. I have this option. Select. Here I have consolidate invoices option. I'll again show you. Just go back. So this is a page where we have created two cons two invoices. So in both the invoices are having invoice number as one, two, three only, but purchase orders are different and indeed product receipts are different again. So I'll select both the invoices here. Click on this option of edit. After that, when you click here on vendor invoice, you can see this option of consolidate invoices. <coughs> 
So select both these invoices again. Click on this consolidate invoices. So summary update select it as invoice account here. OK, click on consolidate. Now we can see both of them are consolidated into a single invoice and the invoice number is one, two, three only same vendor, but purchase orders are multiple product receipts are multiple. Then you can open the invoice and check if both the details are brought up so you can see purchase order multiple product receipt multiple. And you can also see two lines here at a time cricket ball and cycle both the purchase order lines purchase order number seven eight both are consolidated into a single invoice then you can change the number if you want to okay naika anv 07 suppose if you want to give it like this you can change the invoice number before you post it give an invoice date as of today's or tomorrow's date save i mean this one update my status once it is passed you can post it here update my status and you can post it from somewhere i don't see post option here you have to go back maybe to post it from here So this is one another another process just to consolidate already existing invoices. But the limitation is that you should have same invoice number to consolidate them. It can be two or three invoices, but you should have the same invoice number. Once you consolidate, it will pick the same invoice number for the consolidated invoice also. Later you can validate it and post it. So now it is posted. As you can see, and you can check that in posted invoice under this inquiry open in vendor invoices. I'm sorry, it's here open vendor invoices. Open vendor invoices are those that are posted but not settled yet. So you can see it here. This one. When I go to vouchers. You can see a voucher for. 2500 500 for cricket balls and 2000 for cycle. So you see accounts payable being credited for 2500 and inventory invoiced being debited for 2500. This one and this one is a voucher and this one and this one are just the reversals. OK, I mean the reversal of product receipt voucher 2500 and 2500. So. That's how we can consolidate and in multiple invoices into a single invoice. Yesterday's process is easy where you can pick multiple orders in at a time into an invoice, but this is also OK. I mean, you can create multiple invoices and then consolidate them, but ensuring that all of them are having same invoice number. That's compulsory.